Yes, hello folks, it's Peter Elgar, funny old film bloke from Brentwood, Essex, England, with another one of his latest gift cameras. This is a 1950s British made Ensign Selfix 1620. And this model has a Rostar lens. I've got another one which I've shown you that has the Ensar lens. So, what is about this? I've, I've taken some pictures, it all needed cleaning up. It takes 16 shots on 120 or 620 film. This is the Rostar lens, it's 4.5 75mm. It has a British Epsilon shutter. Uh, it's not the German one. Now, there is a, a slow speed only down to one second and it goes to a three hundredth of a second but there was a bit of fault with it I found when the shutter didn't quite work every time correctly yes see that's stuck on one second it's it's struggling we put it to a bit of faster speed it need there's See, that's not a fifth of a second. It needs a service. Because the old gent who gave it to me has never used all this lovely gear. So, what a shame. You must use it and exercise your shutter. That's a 25th. 100th. Now, this is the aperture setting here from F22 to 4.5 you put it against a tiny little index there in the little square thing you move that like that now there's a cable release socket here but the, oh, there's also a flash synchronizing one which is the Compure now I hadn't noticed that I thought it had the old Epsilon synchronization but it has the German 3mm coaxial flash socket so that's good. Underneath you've got a tripod socket, and these are these are very difficult things to get pull out when you want to put a film in. You've got to have good fingernails. Push up there. Look, that's the format. It takes 16 shots, and when you hold the camera, they're all vertical. So if you want to landscape, you've got to turn the camera that way, and this. That way, it acts as a bit of a lens hood. So I take the landscape ones like that. Now it's got means of putting 620 film or 120. So 620 like hen's teeth now, but it's so difficult getting this out. It, you've got to, it hurts your fingernails to load this blasted British camera. You've got to hold that out. Get your filming. See if I can. Ah, blow me. Now here goes a film. See if we can get this in. You've got to hold that, or you, you can turn it. See if we can load this. See if we can get that in. Now look, that's not. Oh, it's in. Would you believe it, folks? We're lucky. Pull it over. Push that into your little slot. It's all been cleaned and I have lubricated these little winding things as well. Because everything is stiff. Now wind on a bit, make certain pressing with your thumb, pressing with your finger to tight till you can see the start line. Then close the back gently. And then you've got to look in the number here and see what happens as you wind through. You've got to You've got to have good light in the little red window, otherwise you can go past the numbers. And sometimes Ilford films, you can't see the, the number of Ilford, on Ilford film. So you can't see if I've gone past it or not. Oh, extremely difficult to see. That's why I've stopped using this particular, can't see the numbers of Ilford film, I bet you've gone past it. I bet you we missed it. Yes, look, we're on number <laughs> we're on number four because the printing on the back of Ilford film is so faint 
you can't see it. So be careful. There's been a, a shoe fitted there by somebody for a flash or, or a range finder. So you wind it, wind it on until you see the number you want here in the view, viewfinder. You set your shutter that you want here. You fire it off here. Then there's a, a, there is a method of not getting double exposures. You've got to wind it onto the next one before you can fire it, like that. There we are. That's the Rostar lens and the Epsilon shutter. So we'll show you some pictures taken with that. I use an old colour film, out of date, so I don't use fresh films. We use some old film, but it's amazingly well. This is a pizza place, I one of my test subjects, the brickwork and the colours and the definition here that that was only taken off since stopped down a tiny bit because the light was abysmal. It was on 5.6 from 4.5 lens, so it's not stopped down a great deal and it's sharp. That was indoors using the flash. Some Christmas things and the definition here is very good because I stopped this down to f16. That's very sharp. And I think I've got one more, oh yes. A Christmas thing on somebody's doorway and there we, you can see Merry Christmas and you can see the little Christmas centers down the side the word in the center is very sharp that was only at 5.6 as well I haven't done a great test of every aperture because the light was dreadful but for a free camera and it takes 16 shots it's not bad so, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and then if you feel like you want to contribute to my paper and inks and film expenses, you can click on buy me a coffee down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.